So heaven was not God's destination for you. Heaven is your home country. But earth is your assignment. So his goal was to expand heaven to earth through his own children by placing them on the planet. And that leads me to point number five. Adam was given kingdom rulership over the territory of earth. That's you. By the way, the word Adam is an interesting word. And God uses this word in an interesting way. The word Adam means dark earth. Dark earth. Rustic dirt. That's what it means. Adam. It's not a name. It's a description. In other words, the first man that God made was in a body that was dark like mine, yours, some of you. And he called it Adam. Adam means dark earth. This is why the earliest discovery of humans are in an area called Afrique. Afrique is northern Africa in the area of Mesopotamia. The dirt in Mesopotamia looks just like me. And that's where God carved the body from in Genesis. You read it in chapter 2. Now here's something very scientific to remember. You know, one, one of my degrees from college is in fine arts. And so I do a lot of painting and sculpture. I like that stuff. And when I was studying the science of color in college, the professor came in the class and he said, today, we are going to learn the origin of colors. And he did something very interesting. He had us all bring all the different colors in the rainbow red, yellow, green, blue, purple, brown, all the colors. And he had a bucket. And he said, everyone take their color and pour it in the bucket. So we all poured these colors, red, yellow, green, pink, blue, brown, everybody poured it. And as the paint fell into the bucket, we saw a miracle right before our eyes. All the colors turned black. And the class was over. I remember standing looking at that bucket and I heard the Holy Spirit, the governor, speak to me. He said, that's the first man right there. Every color produces black. And when you take them out, you get your colors again. So God is smart. There are 6.7 billion people on earth right now. And if you read the Bible carefully, God only made one. He never went back to the soil. He was finished. He made one human and that was it. Women didn't come from the soil. He went inside and took out a woman. Hmm. So everybody is family.